Einer Level. Oh, Time Shop. Oh, Time Shop. Give it to me. Okay, believe me alone. Okay, cut. Oh, I can't give you flare chest. So. Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video, Dusty here. Um, I've been working on this video for a long time, um, but I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm going to show you in this tutorial today a full overview and how-to video of how to download, install, and use the Streamlabs OBS app, which is in uh, currently in beta right now for uh, Windows 7 and beyond. Uh, I'm going to show you how to download it, how to use it, how to install it, and uh, this is a really fantastic tool that I've used for a few months myself, and I can't wait to show you guys kind of uh, as we dive in what there is to uh, to get into here. So, uh, Streamlabs, what is it? Streamlabs is a company organization that allows you and provides tools for streamers and content creators alike uh, to make their lives easier, and Streamlabs, uh, OBS or slobs, whatever you want to call it, is just uh, something else in the line of fantastic tools that they are providing to you. So in order to download this guy, go to streamlabs.com. I'll drop the link down below if you want to follow along with this video, which I encourage you to do so. It will be linked up in the video annotations as well as the first link down below in the description. So you can basically just install it and then go from there. So what you want to do once you're at streamlabs.com is go to the option there, the green button that says download beta. Now, if you're not uh, obviously uh, have, if you don't have a Streamlabs account, you can basically go up uh, to, to create one. You can go to, to log in here. And when you go to log into Streamlabs, uh, it's actually going to, I'll actually log out of my account here and show you guys. When you go to log into Streamlabs, it's going to ask you to log in with your Twitch or YouTube. So whatever your primary streaming account is. So for me, it's YouTube. So I'll just log in with YouTube, make sure I choose the YouTube account that I want to link up and then once I do that I allow Streamlabs to manage and do all of that good stuff and uh, I would encourage you to uh, to not worry about that there I think uh, these guys are definitely uh, trustworthy so once you've done that uh, you can see here that you're gonna have another option a big green button in the upper left hand corner that says download the beta for Streamlabs OBS so again once you're logged in it's gonna look like this but when you are not logged in and you are just at the Streamlabs homepage, you'll see a big green button button here. So go ahead and click that green button. I've actually deleted it off my machine so I can show you guys exactly what we need to do to get this guy up and running. So once you've downloaded the beta here and it has basically downloaded all of the pertinent files, click on that guy there, the, the exe file like you normally would. Go ahead and allow your computer to do that. You're going to see something that looks like this here. Go ahead and click I agree. Uh, choose where you want to install the software on your PC. And then once you're ready, it may go through about a two to five minute installation process depending on the I guess you would say the speed of your PC once you're done go ahead and click finish and then leave the checkbox that says run Streamlabs OBS and this will actually create a little icon for you on your PC to just basically click a little shortcut and you should be good to go now all right, and once you've downloaded and opened the Streamlabs OBS file here and the application is running, you're going to see something that says import from OBS. 
or start fresh. Now, you could import all of your different settings and, and themes from OBS if you're using the native version of OBS. I recommend clicking this blue button here if you're following along with me. That's what we're going to be doing. It gives you a clean and fresh start. So once we do that, you're going to see all of the beautiful things here that Streamlabs OBS provides to you. Now, with this version, you're going to see that it looks a lot better than just the native version of OBS. Now, obviously, OBS is free. I'm so thankful for what they're doing, allowing Streamlabs to basically uh, put a new, uh, a fresh uh, coat of paint per se on the application. But as you can see here, we have our editor, our themes, our dashboard, and then our live panel here. So obviously, uh, just like with OBS, we have our scenes and sources, which is how all of the magic is going to happen. So the first thing that we need to do is create our first scene, which is already done for us there. And if you want to create a new scene, click the addition symbol here. And basically a scene is a, uh, a group of sources that put together everything that people are going to see when they watch your stream. So if you want to say this is stream one, then that's what you can name your scene. Click done and you are ready to go. But obviously there's nothing there. It's a blank screen. So you need to go up here and add sources. So under the sources panel, same way as if you're adding a scene, click the addition symbol here under sources and you're going to see a few different things. All of these are fairly self-explanatory. Image, browser source, image slideshow, all of this good stuff. We're going to add a display capture, which uh, you guys pretty well know what a display capture is. We're going to go ahead and add that source now. And then once you've chosen your monitor like I did, you're going to see here the YouTube channel that I have here. This is my monitor. You can see my mouse moving now. So that's kind of what we're going to be recording. Let's go ahead and add a webcam. So click the addition symbol there next to sources and then go to video capture device. Now, if you are a longtime OBS user. All of these things are going to look familiar to you. If you're not, hopefully this is much easier than if you would just go and use the normal OBS, uh, you know, I guess you would say application. Now, if you do, however, want to check out my tutorial on OBS as well, I'll have that linked in the description as well. So go ahead and click add source on video capture device, click done, and then it's going to pull video. As you can see, here I am now waving at you. It's going to allow you to choose the different devices that you have. So I have my C922 webcam uh, from Logitech hooked up here, and the beauty of the Streamlabs version of OBS is it gives you a bunch of kind of simplistic ways of making your stream look better and it just makes things a little more easier and intuitive for the user if you've never done this before. We can deactivate, we can configure the video uh, and with, with the configuring of the video you can see here we can change the brightness, the contrast and all of that good stuff. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to kind of leave this here just the way that it is and
and click. this here just the way that it is and here and basically a scene and add sources so symbol there next to sources and then go to video capture device now if you you are a long time OBS user Long time OBS user. Hi guys, starting soon. Hi guys, starting soon. Should be doing quick. Hi guys, starting soon.
done there. And as you can see, I can go on my stream here and I can actually click and hold my webcam and drag it and it'll kind of snap into place here wherever I want to put it within my, I guess you would say, my scene number one. So as you can see here, we have a video capture device, a display capture, and then you're good to go. Now, within the sources here, you're going to see things that are game captures, you're going to see audio input capture, and we'll cover that here shortly. But the two that you need to worry about now are display capture as well as video capture, which will get you...